Y'all need to help Stephen Phillips out over there. Out the door and off the radio. Here's Stephen Phillips. All righty, folks, we're back with you. We got Barry Rogers. Good morning, Barry. How are you, brother? Hey, good morning, guys. And Tim Phillips. How are you, Tim? I'm great. How y'all doing, guys? Man, we're doing good. I'll guarantee it. Today is the day we're doing the Burt Reynolds trivia. We thought there'd be nobody better to go up against me than the man that actually... Look what you're up against. Look what you're up against. I'm up, I'm up against Burt Reynolds, man. This is crazy. <laughs> You, you can't beat that backdrop, man. That's incredible. I ain't kidding yeah. you, man. This dude right and here. This now. is just this is just one wall. You know, if I took it would take all morning long to do the all the whole collection. Hey, but wow. you're in trouble. I got this big cup of coffee right here, so I'm ready to go. Hey, ready you're in go. trouble. I got this big computer that's got Google. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My brain or your Google. There you go. I know how that is, but now, now folks that don't know Tim, he does the uh, what's the website, uh, Tim? Banditandbuford.com. We go around me and uh, uh, Sean Bailey and Jason Bobbitt. We go around keeping Bert and Jackie and the movie uh, alive for all the youngsters that haven't seen it. And we make sure that they carry it on past us, too. So keep Bert's memory alive, Jackie's memory alive in the good old days. You know, we, we can't remake those movies anymore, not in this world. So, right. you know, we have to we have to do what we can do to keep it alive. Well, now, folks, I'm telling you, y'all need to check them out because they do a great great and they're doing a tribute they're not trying to be them but i mean honestly when they're when they're around and 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 go into character it is so much fun absolutely a blast <clears throat> and they go to a lot of car show a lot of events birthdays anniversary divorces y'all done a couple of divorces or caused a couple of divorces i can't remember which that <coughs> was but uh yeah we've done a couple of weddings and then it always kills me when we want the bride to ride with me i'm like you have seen the movie right <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good idea to put your bride in a car with burt reynolds i know that's right i guarantee it but anyway so. <laughs> barry how you been doing man you're sick on us last week yeah, doing good, doing good. I uh, I spent a couple of hours last night going through putting this trivia together, and um, and uh, can't wait to 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 get started. Run this by you guys. All right, here's so you're going you're going to flip a coin. Yep, who's got the there coin? You. Packy's got He's the got coin. The... All right, flip. We got a penny because we can't afford a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, I can't see you guys. Oh, you can't see us. Heads. Okay. Oh wait, you got to say which one you. Pick I pick first. heads. <laughs> All right, here we go. What's it going to be, Steven? Yeah, we can't see you, Stephen. You're a you're the morning dish uh, logo right now. Oh, okay, I'm a logo. <laughs> Great. That's Packy. you're just the logo, so we can't tell if you're cheating or not. See, <laughs> leave That's up right. the logo, Packy. Leave up the logo. Hang on, you got to be able to see him. Hang on, just a second. There you go. He's working on. Okay, while I'm he's telling the rules. While he's doing that, I'm, so Stephen, while he's fixing you up, guess who I'm gonna go see? One of your old buddies today. So I'm flying out today to Texas. There he is, and. Uh, going to see your buddy richard rollins out there at gas monkey oh that's gonna be so fun yeah that's yeah, gonna be cool we may do a couple of skits with uh all of us dressed up but he said he had a you know kind of an effort friday going on today so it'd be a great time to come out and hang out with him so we're going to do that and then we're going to go set up for a show tomorrow in graham texas so how come you tell me this when it's too late for me to get a plane ticket <laughs> yeah okay now you're spot on now i know you see <laughs> pick up i can pick up pretty quick so anyway <laughs> All right, Packy, flip the he, coin. He may do good in this thing. He's pretty quick on the draw. Yeah, let's see. All, All right, right Packy. Are we ready? Steven, heads or tails? Tails. <laughs> All right, here we go. Tails. Tails. I go first. I go first. Oh. All okay. Right. All right, Barry. I'll take that. Give him a hard one. We're going to start with the most difficult question there is. I didn't think I sent you one. I mean, hey. oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> wait a minute. Uh, what? <laughs> All right. So, uh, Steven, what – this actually isn't that challenging, but what was Burt Reynolds' last movie? Oh, the last movie he did was the star, their star in Hollywood. What was it called? Uh, golly, was it not the? I cannot think of the name of it. But you know, Steven. you know what I'm talking about, right? But you need to be able to say the title. Ah, uh, the last, uh, the last superstar, or the last superstar, or something. I give up. I give up. I know the name of it, but uh, are you gonna are you gonna give this to Tim? Yeah, I'm gonna have to give it to Tim. See if he knows the name of it. I know this one because I actually went to the premiere with him. Right. Oh, wow. Bert. And so it's the last movie star. The last movie star. I was the close. Last movie star. I should get a half. <laughs> I should get a half a point on that. <laughs> yeah, I've actually got a picture of me sitting at the movie theater with him watching the movie. That was pretty Where cool, was that man. Premiere, by the way, oh, uh, we had it in Rome, Georgia, the one I went to. Actually, Rome, Georgia. Wow. That is cool. Nice. They, they put him up in a really nice, uh, they got a lot of neat homes up there. It's almost like a, a mini Savannah. Right. Uh, Rome. 
Went in Rome, you know. Went in Rome, do as the Romans. <laughs> but I actually knew that, but I couldn't remember the name, so I get a half yeah. a point. One to a half. All, all right. right, Tim. So, all right, so we're going to Tim now. Here we go. All right. Right. All right. Name an actor who co-starred in Deliverance with Burt Reynolds, who also happened to be in Superman. Oh, oh good. It's not John Voight. It's the it's the it's the. He's, he was in several movies with him. Now I'm now I'm like uh, oh, no. drawing a blank. Uh, oh, what's his name? He was in White Lightning with him. He was in Stroke Race with him. I can't think of his name though. You I'll, can see his face, but you can't think. Yeah, of Yeah, I, I got know, it. I know. I know. Oh wow! Go ahead. Do it. I mean, look at look at my I'm look at my profile. Speech. Look at my profile. Ned Beatty. Are you kidding? Look, oh man! Do I not? Look, I should. You should look at me and say, "Oh, it's Ned Beatty." You know, I never thought about that. Oh no, man! Now I yeah. I, I, <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah, he was okay. So what do we wait a minute. Wait. Check one? this out. One and one. Squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go, guys. What TVs? This is good. What are we going back to, Stephen? Go back to Stephen. We'll just go. go back. And forth. Yeah. All right. So, what TV series ran from 1990 to 94 I know that Reynolds starred in? Evening Shade. There we go. Hey, there you hey, go. Hey, look at there. See, I'm doing pretty good. All right. Going back to Tim. What old Western TV show was Burt Reynolds on from 1960 to 1964? Bonanza. Not this particular one. Oh. Can I go? Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. <laughs> Come on, Tim. Bonanza. <laughs> oh, Come on, let me do it. Let me do it. Oh, it is, you got, Come on, Tim. It was one of oh, the great man. old westerns of all time. I know it's a little before my time, but yeah, I should be able to think of this one. Uh, go ahead, Steven. Riverboat. Wait. That's no. That guys, it. I'm talk. Are you good? Are you guys? Riverboat. That's not it. Packy. No, Packy don't even know who Burt Reynolds is. <laughs> ah, right, we give up. Who is? What is it? It's Gunsmoke, guys. Oh wow, Gunsmoke. Banana Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was actually going to be one of the easier ones. Well, you're. Yeah, we did too. So what's he? <laughs> yeah. What's he on Bonanza? <laughs> he was. Uh, he wasn't the one that he was on more regular right. would be the, the gun smoke, the, well, the 1960 from 64. So Tim was kind of right. Been on Bonanza, but this is the one I had zero. zero I get on. a half a point. Half a point. Oh, we're tied up again. We're tied up. So again. he replaced Dennis Weaver, who was uh, Festus, right? Um, uh, I mean, I Festus? I've got the character's name. I'm pretty, but... I'm pretty sure he's correct. He, he left the, the show. So Burt Reynolds became Festus? Oh, yeah. No, he was a he was just a new character. He's a different character. Oh, man. different character. To, oh, okay. Bert played a half breed Indian. Yeah, he did a Indian lot of Indian name. stuff too. Yeah. Yep. Uh, who started? Okay. I know you guys the actor, I just didn't know the name. Yeah, he played the half. They brought okay. him on and played the, his Quint. Yeah. And he named his son Quentin from the character Quint that uh, he played on Gunsmoke. Now there's something I did not know. Did not know that. So you learn yeah. something new every day. All right, my, uh, I know all that, but couldn't name the gun smoke. <laughs> all right, who's up next? Me, 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 pick me. <clears throat> okay, all right. You guys keeping score here? We're keeping a running. Uh... I thought we're tied. Yeah. We're going to go with all that. Right. I should get an extra point for knowing all the backstory. Though. There you go. Half a point. This is this one's pretty easy, I think. Oh. Uh, uh, what actress was Reynolds married to? Oh, Lord. He married to, uh, oh, WJRP in Cincinnati. What is her name? What is her name? Lonnie Anderson. I, I Lonnie Anderson. Lonnie I, know his first, I know his first wife, though. Who was that? For a bonus point. Bonus point? <laughs> Judy Carn. Did not know that. that. From last no, Judy I Carn. didn't. Uh, he I didn't married know. Judy Carn first. That was, she was his first wife, so that should be a point, too. So how many? Now, was she an actress? She was on yeah. Laugh In, wasn't she? Yeah, she yeah. was on Laugh In. She was one of the dancers, or yes, she was. Yeah. yeah. Oh, interesting. So okay. how many wives did he have anyway? Two. Two. Okay. Judy Carn and Lonnie Anderson. Okay. Those are the only two okay. wives. Okay. So well, you know, there you go. Um, all right. So next question, Tim. Are we back to? Yeah, you? we're back to me. 
Okay. Uh, what sport would Reynolds have preferred to be playing uh, instead of acting if it weren't for an injury? It was football. He was a great football player. FSU. I thought it was mud wrestling. <laughs> you know, you know, another side note, since they, Stephen, do you know he actually got a scholarship to go play for the University of Miami? I didn't know first. that. So he went down to the University of Miami and visited, and he went to FSU and visited. And right. the women at FSU outnumbered the men six to one. Right. So he chose FSU. Wonder why. So he became a no. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder a, why he that did that. That is a true story. So was he a quarterback or was he a lineman? He was a halfback. Okay. Tailback. But uh, he, uh, yeah, I went to Tallahassee and did a uh, tribute. Me and Sean went down and did a tribute, and yet it's still 6-1. to one. Wow. <laughs> All right, whose turn is it now? All right. So if you guys are just tuning in, hang on. We got uh, Burt Reynolds trivia, Stephen versus Tim Phillips. Right. Yeah, but Tim is a Tim is a Burt guru. Trust me, he's hung out with him for many years. So I'm I'm at odds here, but I'm I'm holding my own. I'm holding my own. You're doing great. Yep. You're doing great. All right, let's go. All right, here we go. All right. Yeah. What sports movie did Reynolds make in 1974? Who is that? Is that me? Yeah, you. I'm up one now since I got the football. So. Oh, the longest yard. There you go. That okay. was a great that was movie. Easy. <laughs> that was a great movie. Yeah. All right. So, um, Tim, who starred in the 2005 remake of that movie, The Longest Yard? That would be Adam Sandler. There you go. Wow. All right. We're rolling around. He was a he was a he was a huge Burt Reynolds fan too. Still is. So he he don't look it, nothing like him though. No. He, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but he, uh, he, a lot of innuendos in his movies. He'll have a Burt poster on the wall. Yeah. And in some of the movies, a limo drives by. One of his movies is Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. Yeah. A big limo drives by as he's walking to the golf course. And he goes, must be Burt Reynolds here. Yeah. <laughs> well, Burt did, uh, Bert did a cameo in that movie, too, didn't he? Wasn't he like the... Oh, yes. In the like Longest Yard, not the or... 2005 version. Yeah, because yeah, was... he, he did a cameo. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he actually ran the ball in at the end. All right, so we're back to Stephen. All right, you guys, uh, this kind of ties into Star Wars. Oh, no, I'm done. I did not send you nothing about Star Wars. Well, we found a way to bring it back to Star Wars. Uh, what role in Star Wars was Burt Reynolds considered for? I know it, Stephen. You better guess it. <laughs> Han Solo. No, he got it. Oh, did I really? You did. You did. <laughs> I was gonna say Chewbacca. I thought it's Han Solo. I thought I thought Hans was a girl. I'm sorry. I'm just being silly. Yeah, that's how I got that laugh in the Chewbacca role. <laughs> trying to get the Chewbacca. <laughs> All right, Tim. Let's All go. All right. So, uh, okay, let's let's do this one. Um, how much did Burt Reynolds reportedly make for Deliverance? Oh wow! Wouldn't have been wow, enough. That is gonna be. That is a <laughs> tough one. Yeah, I don't go back to his finances too much. He wasn't very good. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was terrible. I love it, though. He went out broke. That's the way I want to go. He made, this is probably considered a lot of money for that time. Yeah, right? he made it. He was, he was a, he was one of, if he made $100, he spent 200 you know, so, uh, but he had a lot of fun. So, uh, okay. let's go with uh, $80,000. Go ahead. $80,000. I'm going to go with something really low. Fifty thousand dollars. I, I oh, didn't give that me was a chance. My first chance. chance was fifty. So you didn't. I, I didn't, didn't get an opportunity. Try. I was supposed uh, to. I'm supposed to be able to steal. Who, we could have went with who was close. Uh, Stephen, what would you have said? I would have said a million said bucks. I'd have said a million. Yeah, yeah. you would have said it. You would have said it. All right, you guys. All right, so where are we? Well, at? I got that first? one. I, it's I was going to say fifty. I should have said fifty to start with, but I went eighty for Burt. There you go. Just because I, back then, uh, Jerry Reed only got. Eighty thousand dollars to do smoking a bandit. I did not know that. I did not know that. And I thought, wow, they wouldn't pay him people a lot back then. So no, poor old Jerry, bless his heart. He borrowed a, a million from Bert one time, and so uh, there there was a clock at Bert's house. I got some pictures of it, a grandfather clock. And I walked in there one day, and and I said, man, I love that grandfather clock, Bert. He said, that's a that's a million dollar clock, Tim. And I said, man, a million dollars for a grandfather clock? He said, yeah. He said, uh. 
Jerry uh, got got a, in a big tight, needed some money. I loaned him a million dollars and uh, forgot about it. And he said, finally, his, uh, you know, that's how Bert was. He'd just give you money and forget about it. Well, uh, finally, his uh, financial advisor, tax person was going through all this, you know, stuff, trying to help him out, do taxes, do things. He said, you know, you loaned Jerry a million dollars. We ain't seen a dime of that back. And so he kind of called him and said, hey, bud, you know, you got anything on that million dollars? So he said, I got something I'm going to send you right now. And he sent him that grandfather clock. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm like that. I borrow money and then forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, borrow it. And, and, that, was, and that was all he said he saw of it. So he said, a million dollar clock. A million dollar clock. All right, Barry, who we got now? Who we got now? Is it my turn? It's my turn. I think we lost him. Oh, he just hung up on us. I think we lost him. We still got Tim. Mm -hmm. You still there, Tim? Yeah, we can do our own trivia. <laughs> <laughs> he must have that cable kind of internet, and it probably just went out. Oh, that is not good. Oh, he's, he's back. Asking, he's, he's back. He's, he's coming back right now. He's I back. I don't know. So what is, anybody know the score? Anybody know the score? Uh, I've been lost temporarily. We there? Yeah, we there. Good. It's my turn. Ask my question. All right. Okay. So we're here. We're at the bonus question, you guys. Oh, the bonus. This All is right. the tiebreaker. Who's ahead, Packy? You keeping the? I've got three to two right now, but I, might, I think it's three to three after the the fifty thousand dollar one. Is that right? Yeah, that sounds right. So yeah. we're at the tiebreaker. This is a tiebreaker. All right. So uh, here we go. Bonus question: Can you name a co-star from Evening Shade? One of Reynolds' co-stars. Oh. It could be. And you've got a lot, lot to choose from. They seem to have a pretty extensive cast. I'm gonna say James Garner. What do you say? What do you say, Tim? I'm trying to think of her name. She was the redhead that was on there all the time. I don't even know. <laughs> but she, I can't think of her. You know, and I can see all these guys' faces. Well, call out somebody's name. Can't think of their names. Oh, uh, you know who actually? No, I, I have no idea. Came on the show there. Let's see if there was a couple. I can't think of anybody. Uh, oh, 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 oh! I tell you, uh, come on, man. We see you brain I, working. Hold on, Dick. I got him right here. <laughs> Time's uh, running out. We gotta set a time limit on this. Ten. Uh, nine. Billy Bob Thornton. Billy Bob Thornton delivered freaking uh. Uh, he was, it was his first starring role. He was a delivery guy. Oh. Even today. He was okay. So, you know, I guess we could have been more specific. Are we talking a regular co-star? Well, you didn't say that. Who won? Someone who made it. You know what? So we'll give him the point. Oh, man. We'll give him the, this will be. <laughs> you well, can look it up. It's he, an he honor. He wound up being famous, but he, he started out as a delivery kid. It's an honor to be beat, beat by you, Tim. I appreciate it, son. <laughs> Well, that was tough. That was some good questions. Barry, next time some I'll see of the, you. Some of the regular co-stars on there were like people like Mary Lou Henner. You had Hal Holbrook. Uh, Who was I thinking about was the redhead that was on there a lot because she loved her. Was it, uh, are you talking about Elizabeth Ashley, Ann Wedgworth? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe an Ann with Westworth. Listen, Maybe Barry, that. when I send you questions to ask, make sure you stick with the questions, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he did great. We had a lot of fun. Hey, All right, so, hey, hey, what does the winner get here? We never established <clears throat> that, I don't think. Yeah, well, I don't know. That was Dragon your department. I, I thought we said $50,000, but. 50000 out of Stevens uh, uh, fund. Yeah. There, yeah. The producing fund. Hey, Tim, I'll send you a clock. That's what I'll say. <laughs> yeah. I'll put it on send your you tab. A, <laughs> send you a picture of a clock. When I, when I call, I'll get a, uh, a dish uh, T-shirt. There you go. Hey, hey we got to get to Hey, it. Barry, hang on. Next week, we've got Lord of the Rings trivia. Are you in for that? <laughs> oh, wow. Now, who decided this? So who's the, who is this? Is this one of yours? Now, that's Sherry and I. Okay. Sherry and I versus each other. Wow. Are Lord you, of the Rings. Are you cool with that? Hey, it, 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 you guys, whatever. I'm just a guest. Are you, are you down? Are you down? Do you dig? <laughs> hey, Tim, give them your website one more time, bro. Yep. Go to banditandbuford.com, book us that way, and we'll see you in the near future at one of the shows. There you what, go. What, about hey. you, what about you, Barry? Barry, let's hear your website. If you want to be hey, famous. Bennypr.com. If you want to be famous, this is a guy to call. If you want to have some fun, go to Tim. Right, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so Guys, much. Have a great morning. I'm going to pack and get ready to fly out. All right, man. All send right. me some pictures. Yeah, it was a lot you. of fun, you guys. Thank you. All right, take care. Yeah.
Thank you for spending a little time with us. And remember, you can tune in every morning at WJULradio.com at 8 a.m. Eastern. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook, The Morning Dish.